Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to try the jelly tips from Kiara Sky. This is a very simple and easy uh, system for you to have nails. It is an option for press on nails, but it's more uh, advanced because it lasts longer than press on nails. So these kits come with the tips, which I ordered the square uh, short tips because I work in computers and typing, so I need something short. And I'm gonna be applying this on my right hand, which I don't use that one a lot for tutorials, so it will be perfect, so I can keep them for days and weeks and weeks until they fall out of my hands, <laughs> or my fingers. So what I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna go step by step using this book that it comes with all the instructions. The kit comes with a lamp like this one, well, it don't come with the lamp. When I purchased the kit, it, it was a bundle, so it came with the lamp. Also, it comes with four steps, four bottles. You will have step one, which is the prep, which pretty much is the one that you put to hydrate, dehydrate the nail, to remove the oils. Then you have the primer, which is the one you prep to put the next step. Then we have the third step, which is the gel builder, which is what you're gonna use to glue in your tips. And the last one, of course, the top coat. Okay, so the first thing is the following. We're gonna go now, and we're gonna select the tips that we're gonna use. When selecting the tips for your nail bed, make sure that the tip you're selecting, it is the size that covers your nail. I say this because some of these nail tips, they are wider so you got to make sure that the tip you select is actually going to fit perfect your nail if it is a little bit bigger you can file on the sides to make sure it is a perfect fit now don't put a tip that is too small don't put a tip that is kind of like tight and the reason why i say that don't put a tip that is too small is because when you press these nail tips into your nail bed if the tip is really small it's gonna hurt um hurt in the way of having the tip there for a few hours maybe for a few days a few weeks and you will feel that pressure in your nail because the tip is too small for that nail bed so make sure that um, you use the right tip because it's gonna hurt and it's gonna bring you a lot of problems it can even lift okay so once you have selected the tips, the next step will be removing the cuticle area, cleaning that area, and prep the nail. Um, very important is that you do select the tips first because you have to add a lot of stuff to your nail tip, to your nail bed, right? So you don't wanna be selecting tips while you have the primer on, while you have uh, the, the prep on. It's better to do it before starting the process, okay? So basically what I'm doing here, I'm just pushing back all the, the skin, the cuticle, all of that. And once I'm finished with that, with the other side, I will go ahead and clean like that smile line on the cuticle area just to remove everything. And because I wanna have a clean, uh, prep so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna choose my cuticle uh, bead and I'm gonna go over the area where I push the cuticle and I push the dead skin just to make sure I remove everything very perfect and it's not there anymore and at the same time this will take the shine away from the nail bed uh, you can do this with a buffer which I will do um, later on in the nail tip but for the nail bed I'm using this sanding band in fine just going to remove the shine from the nail from my nail bed and this is not going too fast and I do it really slow and then with a cuticle cutter I'll go and cut the dead skin that is not necessary that is just there because if you don't remove this it can cause lifting on your nails the next thing I do is I file the tip of my nails because I want them to grow together. I want them to grow the same size, all of them together. So I make sure they all are in shape to the same size. I clean the dust with a lint-free wipe and then I go to the next step which is 
the prep. The prep pretty much is to dehydrate the nail so it can remove any oils you may have on your nail bed. So we're gonna do this in all of the natural nails and it's step one. Very easy, you just go and put it on all of your nails. And this is a solution that it dries fast, as you guys can see, like every primer. And then the next step will be applying uh, the primer. Yes, this is the primer. <laughs> so we're gonna apply the primer. So one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, while you were doing the prep, if you cut yourself, like the cuticle area, if you cut any part of your skin, when you put the primer, you're gonna feel the burn, okay? So this primer also dries quickly, so you just put like a nice amount in your natural nail, let it dry, and now the next step is says that you will have to file the inside of the tip. And the reason why we're doing this is because you always, I always tell you guys that acrylic and gel applies better to rough surface, okay? I'm not talking about gel polish. Gel polish don't care. Gel polish, you can put a base coat and then it will last you a while. But when it comes to applying acrylic or gel, this is something you will have to do in order for that tip to last you longer, in order for that tip to um, stay in your nail bed and glue perfect, okay? Because we're gonna cure it. Now, the next step is that you're gonna put a little bit of this uh, gel builder, which is step three, on each of your natural nail. Now, I used the lamp, I used a little lamp to cure the gel builder, but I have no patience. So, of course, I decided to put the gel builder on all of my nail beds and then I stick the hand in the big lamp because I don't have patience, I don't have time to wait to do each nail, which you can do this. I mean, if you have time, you can do this, but I don't have patience. So, I put a little bit of gel in all of the nail and stick the hand in the big lamp. That way, I can get it done at once. Now, for the next step is where you need to have the lamp, okay? So the next step, of course, I cured that for 60 seconds and then we move to the next step. The next step is to apply the gel builder into the tip so you can glue it into the nail. So this is the part where it's hard to do. This is the hard process because it is something that you have to practice and learn. And I say that because you have to put a little bit of gel builder on this tip in order to press them on and stick it into the lamp. As you guys can see, I have to put something under the lamp so it can be higher, so it can sit higher. Because that was the perfect way to do it because if it was sitting lower, then it would be hard for me to hold the nail tip and at the same time put it in the lamp. So I highly recommend to sit the lamp higher. The second thing is that you have to put a little bit of this gel builder. Don't put too much because it's gonna create bubbles. And it happens to me, and I'm gonna show you guys so you guys can have an idea of what I'm talking about. So the perfect thing to do is just put a little bit of gel builder. Don't put like a big amount, just a little bit. Press the nail into your nail bed, hold it, and then at the same time put it in the lamp. You cannot let go the tip while you holding the tip because if you let that go and you put it in the lamp it's going to create bubbles in your nail bed and your nails are going to lift they're not going to they're not going to last longer okay so once again put a little bit of the gel builder on the nail tip press it on and stick it to the nail now let's take a close look to these nails you guys can see how in the cuticle area there is some gel builder and this is because when I put the gel builder in the tip, I put too much. So this is why I say this a practice, you have to practice. So the best way to say is just put a little bit, don't put too much. And you guys can even see the little bubble on the cuticle area and the pinky nail as well. And I'm pointing with my fingers. So don't worry, that is not issue. We can fix that, of course. Just make sure that you put a little bit of gel builder. The next thing it says that you need to file the chine away from the tip 
and also you can do that with a buffer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna file the square part and to make sure I take away that little thing that comes at the tip of the nail uh, where the number is at and then another thing I'm gonna do since we have that little balls of gel builder what we can do is with a fine um, sanding band I will go over the cuticle area to remove that, that extra gel builder that came out because I put a little bit too much. So keep that in mind, uh, just put a little bit, don't put too much. And I'm going around the cuticle area, this don't hurt at all. You can do this at a very low speed if you don't uh, manage very well the drill. Uh, in my case, I can go really fast because um, the one I can I know I can control it so I'm not scared of it so the next step would be buffer the nails just to remove the shine because at this point after you buffer you can clean the dust clean the nails and then after that you will go ahead so after you do all that is when you can uh, do whatever you're gonna do with the nails you can apply acrylic you can apply gel if you're gonna apply gel polish you don't need to buffer just apply a base coat and put the gel polish on top and that's it and cure so what we're gonna do is the following we are going to wear these nails until they fall from my fingers to see how long they are gonna last so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the dust and everything and I'm going to do a nail tutorial that I'm going to record for you guys. So that will be the next video. If I put it on this video, we will be sitting here for a while and I don't want to do that. So let's make this short, simple and easy. And let's just leave it here with how it looks. Beautiful. This nail looks pretty good, guys. Look at that cuticle area. Beautiful. Okay, so... That's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and record another video to do some type of nail tutorial and show you guys. And please make sure you follow me on social media. Today is Monday, February 8th, 6.21 p.m. So I will be updating you guys throughout the videos that I will be doing. Follow me on social media. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.